It looks nice, but this is without a doubt the coldest day of the year. 30, high of 30 today with winds up to 17 miles an hour. Definitely gonna be one of the coldest days we have on the lake. So far this year anyway, at least this season. I should say it like that, this season. So we're getting sickness ready to rock and roll. It's a bluebird day, so that's gonna be cool. A lot of deals going on with Thanksgiving here. Um, so uh, Black Friday deals, a lot of these deals stretching all the way through Cyber Monday. Um, a lot of you guys like to do all that purchasing right before uh, or when you're with your families on Thanksgiving. So I'm going to share with some of the deals that are going on, but we're going to put fish in the boat. That's what the purpose of this episode is. I have not fished in a while, to be honest with you. I've been down in Alabama. So a lot of guide trips coming up. We're going to prep for that, but I'm, I'm excited about getting out on the water and doing some casting and um, having some fun, getting some fish in the boat. So happy Thanksgiving, folks. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. You know, the beauty of a, an 8616 is obviously the pure size of it and the quality of picture, no doubt about it. But the, the disadvantage of an 8616 is you always kind of have to put it back on your boat if you want to protect your investment. So every day, my day starts like this. And of course, a day like today, you gotta get the heavy gear on. Now, I use striker ice. Um, it's just something I've used ever since I started crappie fishing. Um, I actually got a whole new setup and they keep me warm and I like them a lot. So you can check them out at strikerice.com, I guess. Um, I know there's a lot of probably less expensive stuff, but I've had such good luck with this stuff that I can't seem to stop, stop wanting it. So uh, I actually, like I said, purchased another set up but super warm it's actually ice wear so it's meant to and it floats makes my wife feel a lot better you know you get on the water and you're alone and the fact that it floats makes you feel a little bit better about it about things so let me share with you starting on thursday thanksgiving you can count on 20 percent off all these great products three pound fishing Sniping Braid, you can go to their website as well, snipingbraid.com, 20% off. The brand new sniping cat is out. So if you're a cat fisherman, I'm not really a, a, a cat fisherman, but right there, 40, 60, 80 pound, that's brand new. And then Bait Pop, the new Bass Bait Pop is out. Again, 20% off Thursday through Monday. You can check that out at baitpop.com. Those are just a few of the deals. I'll share some more and uh, we're about to get ready, put some fish in the boat. People are always asking about these gloves. These are fish monkey gloves. Um, go check them out. I love them. They're wooly. Um, the only downside is sometimes the hook gets hook, hooked into it and it's a mother getting it out of the out of the wool. wool. But I like the fact that my fingers are, are exposed it gives me a, the, the dexterity that i need to you know do stuff with the hooks and stuff like that so let's do this it's gonna be a beautiful day it looks like an absolute stunner but let me tell you it is cold right now now one of the misconceptions about winter fishing is that it's no good or it's you know you hear that a lot but let me tell you people that have been around crappie fishing know that winter fishing is some of the best fishing essentially for the the long haul for winter time they're feeding up so they're very aggressive and to me it's just a long process to get to the spawn from this point on even when you're cutting a fillet and fish out right now you're going to start to see eggs we are here on our home lake and it's just a small it's just a process throughout the entire winter to the spawn where those egg sacs start to get larger and larger and larger until you get those spawning fish that we all love and are huge type fish. So right now I'm just kind of 
searching around some piles to see if we got anything going on here. I'll show you some active capping here. Let's get that going. There's our first customer. Three pound fish. Just like that. So what I'm doing is I'm casting, trying to stay about 25 feet away from the fish and uh i'm using my same setup nothing changes even though the cold weather is right now it's kind of freezing up my eyelids a little bit uh, but this is the 10 pound optimal use optimized whichever one you want to use from sniping braid and uh i use it all the way through the winter straight to my jig a number seven split shot the rig doesn't get any better. Now, why do you use a number seven split shot? Number two, number one reason is you're gonna get it down there faster. Number two, for me anyway, it makes it 10 times easier for me to pick it up on live sonar. Uh, you can use a lot of different tricks on picking it up, but certainly two items moving horizontal at the same rate is really easy to pick up, for me anyway. Now, there's other things you can use. Obviously, you know, applying bait pop, is certainly a great way to do it too but uh i usually try to utilize two items a weight that gets me down to the depth that i'm trying to right now i'm using a number seven split shot not to be long-winded about it but if i'm really fishing deep right now i'm only about 12 feet deep uh, i will bring that thing all the way up to a number three split shot number five split shot depending upon how deep i'm fishing what i'm seeing right now on the monitor it is definitely the beginning of the schooling process. They're moving on and off structure. I want to show it to you. Hopefully they'll stay in this pattern. But they're, you know, these schools will stay near the structure, but you'll see them move off, and then they usually move right back. Um, they typically stay pretty close. All right, so massive school right there on a piece of structure and what i'm hoping will happen here you're going to see it where they're all going to move off together there it is right there so we can probably catch one while they're on there but sometimes you can just i just saw them all move in at one time it's pretty spectacular there i am falling in on the back side so right now i'll lose it'll go right through the center of that i might have missed just a little bit on one side
of the day. By the way, hognet.com or hogfishing.com, you can check those out as well. There's a discount, Black Friday discount for those as well. Check this out. Schooling fish, winter fishing. What a fish. What a fish. Number two in the bucket. <laughs> Hammer, baby. Hammer. Right there. Look at that. Big fish, baby. Woohoo. Alright, so as you can see in my boat, I'm using a lot of different things. Um, I'm a big fan of the 10 footer people ask that some people come in the boat and they think that's a long rod it's not a long rod in crappie fishing you know when we single pull fish we're looking at everything from a 16 my favorite's a 13 I use Ozark rods uh, this is an old classic Ozark rod that I've had for a really long time actually probably one of the very first ones I ever received from them um, I still got it. It just shows you the longevity. I fish with these almost every day and the guy trips um, and I keep four of them on my deck. I can I feel like I can pitch to them. I feel like I can cast to them. I feel like I can, you know, vertical jig with a 10 footer. To me, that's optimal. Now, if I go to other lakes, I guide on uh, Rin Lake as well. And uh, I spend a lot of time there. Uh, along with any of these big tournament lakes that we fish, I love the 13 footer. Now, I think long term, I'll probably go even further out seems like that seems to be the trend right now is to get as far out as possible 16 18 even 20 foot I'm hearing people are using but 13 is kind of my my uh, the area I like to go now when I go to those other lakes I do size up my baits uh, my baits can go all the way up to a 1 8 but on my home lake I like small baits uh, when I go to a rent lake or anything else I really favor the 1 16 ounce jigs uh, you guys can see exactly what I'm fishing with this is the combo pack you know you can check it out like I said 20% off right now uh, Thanksgiving special but that gets you almost every color uh, minus the gold the gold is not in there there's a gold one as well but the 1 16th I really like I feel like I can cast it pitch it vertical jig it it's got good profile on it even though it's only 1 16th I still usually supplement it with a with another weight um, a lot of people don't, uh, but again, I like I can pick it up very quickly when I do that. If I'm fishing super shallow, like one, two, three feet deep, then of course I don't use a I don't supplement with another bite. But anytime I get past that, really that six foot mark, five to six foot, I'll go with a, a two weight. So when I'm two weights, two markers, and uh, so like for example at Rin Lake, we're fishing roughly around four or five foot down, and I'll still supplement it with a split shot. Not everybody does that. Uh, that's just, you know, that's what I like. And, uh, but I use, I do use a 1 16th ounce chain. Now in terms of like colors, colors don't change for me in the, in the winter time per season. It's every, that has everything to do with the, uh, with the color of water. So, you know, if I'm a clear water lake, I'm gonna, I'm still looking for a big contrast um, in terms of jig head and body. For me, that's where I usually start. Uh, but in terms of like a clear water lake, I'm gonna go with natural colors, muddy water lakes, stained water lakes. I'm gonna go with bright, obnoxious colors. I'm trying to see if I can show you my last episodes, you know, on Crab Orchard. That's a uh, that's a stained water lake, I'll call it. And uh, bright, and bright colors, man, crazy colors. So now for you guys that are, you know, I'm, I've gotten into the scent the scent market big time i love the oils for for uh hair jigs i love the paste for plastics and then for you guys that you know want to have that extra help and seeing it on your live sonar you got the bait pops this is a, a crappie formulation and then now they just came out with that new bass one and i i don't know you probably could use them both on either one it probably doesn't matter um, what i like is that it can change the look of your your jig and it also all they all have that natural the, the fish formula the original fish formula like scent and that's what i think that's their biggest value big time they have a history there they've done, been very successful in a sense um,
Well, folks, I appreciate you watching. Great live, active captain, and uh, great fish, man. Winter fishing. Check out Three Top Fishing Guide Service. We're in Lake or Lake of Egypt. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're having a ball this winter. Give me a holler. Thanks. Take it easy, guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.